Hey Aries, welcome to Black Star Tarot. Thank you guys for stopping and watching. This is your January career and finance reading. I'm going to shuffle up some of these major arcanas. We're going to pull one so we can find out what the most influential um, energy is surrounding your finances at this time. And I forgot to put two in the deck, so let's just do this again. All right, messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. Spirit. All right, Aries, I think that's good, right? One, two, and three. So we have the hangman. I'll take it. All right, so some of you guys are wondering and waiting. Um, I think you're trying to make some decisions when it comes to your money. All right, guys, but let's just see what other messages we have, and then we'll get into the entire reading once we get all the cards out, okay? All right, so we have temperance that's been showing up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It was in Leo's reading. I think it was like in Scorpio's reading. I don't know. It was just in a lot of readings, okay? So temperance is trying to fix everybody's money right now. All right, everybody. All right, let's get one more. All right, I get it. <laughs> I get it, I get it. All right, um... Aries, number one, you have help, all right? You're not doing all of this alone. Although it may feel like it, uh, you do you do have help, all right? The hangman is the card of Pisces, okay? And it's asking you to step back and take a look at the way you uh, see money, what your beliefs are, you know, about money, um, how you should get it. Um, the hangman is, you know, asking you to change something. Okay. Because the hangman is, it does speak of like transition. All right. So I feel that a lot of you got a lot to think about. All right. You have a lot to think about. And I see you kind of hanging around like in that energy of, you know, like what's, what's next. Okay. What's next. So a lot of you with temperance here, you're kind of just going with the flow. You know, you're kind of just, you know, waiting to see, you know, which way, you know, the wind blows, okay? If I end up here, then I'll just go there. If I end up at this job, I'm just going to go there. Oh, whichever one calls me back first, okay? I get it. You know, it's an easy way to live, you know? It's like taking things, you know, as they come, you know, not really worried about it, right? Not putting the overemphasis on focus on it. So I, I get that. But I feel like you're cheating yourself out of that. And you're definitely taking a risk, you know, hoping that things, you know, will balance out. There's nothing wrong with hoping and wishing. But it's going to require some action from you, okay? It's going to require for you to get out there and see, like, what's available to you. It's the card says search, Okay, look at how she's looking like, who's hiring, you know, and is it for me? Because nobody wants just any job because you're not going to stay. Okay, you know, if you're if you're working a job that you can't stand or it doesn't really vibe with you, you're only going to be there for a short period of time and you're not going to be happy. You're just wasting time. You know, that's how I look at it. All right. The crown is telling you that, you know, you're overcoming obstacles right now, okay? And that there's wealth here. It says owner, boss, taking charge, making progress. This is the energy that you guys need to be in. But I'm not quite sure that all of you are in that energy. I kind of feel like you're in this hangman energy. You're kind of, you know, being protected by temperance here. So it's almost like you're not out of money, but you don't have no money. It's kind of like that. Like you have what you need. Like you got food. You got a roof over your head. You got some support. Like I do, I do feel that you guys have help here. So I don't feel like you're you're completely down and out. You know, a lot of you, to some extent, I feel like you are starting over, you know, or you're trying to save up, okay? Um, some of you could be thinking about careers like in healthcare. Um, some of may have offered you a job in a hospital or with insurance or something like that. Or maybe you've had to pay uh, for insurance for some of you because I'm hearing those odd ass messages um, but something has to uh, in here uh, areas when it comes to your finances so that you can you can prosper 
And I don't know if what needs to end is just, you know, you waiting for the opportunity um, to fall out of the sky or, or what. Not quite sure. And again, this isn't for everybody. And you may be the second sign that may be a little irritated, you know, by this reading. Like normally I really like, you know, to give like uplifting, happy messages. But look at the cards, okay? The hangman doesn't do much. He does a lot of thinking and waiting, you know, sometimes he's able, you know, to let go, you know, and surrender things that's not helping him move forward. It's okay to be in this hangman energy when you're trying to figure something out. But if you're in this energy of denial that's on the table right now, then I'm just not sure like where you're going. Okay, some of you could be envious and upset about something or maybe this is someone how they're looking at you. All right. I, I don't know which way it's it goes. Okay, take it, you know, as it as it resonates, but you know, there's something here. I don't know. I feel like like you're looking for something, you're searching for something. Aries, like what are you looking for? Are you just trying to figure this whole thing out? Okay, like, are you trying to figure out how to get over these obstacles? Maybe that's why you're in this hangman energy. I don't know what the hell you're doing right now, okay? I do know some of you, you need help. So this denial says, perhaps you are insisting that reality be something other than what it is. Yeah, I do feel that for some of you. What are you refusing to see? Yes, or what are you looking for? Like, I don't I feel that, like... Um, it says it's better to live in truth than a lie. If you've been putting a false front to make money, it's time to remove the mask. Um, yeah, so that's, I'm just, I don't know. Like some of you, it's like you need help. Others of you are just settling, you know, for where you are right now. Not really ready to take a risk. It says taking a calculated risk is sometimes necessary in order to advance. Have the courage to face the fear of uncertainty. Don't focus on the outcome. The odds are better than you think. Absolutely. And then what is up with this envy card? I don't like this card. It says you could be envying other people's financial success. Try not to live beyond your means. Just keep up uh, beyond your means just to keep up with others. Others could be envying your success. Careful who you trust with your money matters. Now, you know, I'm glad, you know, that can, can go all kinds of ways, okay? All right, but something is very, like energy when it comes to money right now is very unstable, you know, around you. You, you kind of, I feel like you're just kind of stuck, you know, in a particular place and you may not know exactly how to get out. And a lot of you don't even want to face the fact that either that you need help when it comes to your finances you know, or even go get it. I just feel like you're just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to trust in whatever comes my way. I'm comfortable right where I am. But are you really, uh, Aries? Like, I'm just saying, you know, it may be time for you to take a little bit more, you know, control, you know, over your finances. You know, I see that you're being flexible, right? But just make sure you're not so comfortable where you are that you're missing out you know, on opportunities because there's ton of the, there's ton of them around you. All right, don't get stuck in doubt. Okay, like when when if something presents itself, even if you, I don't know, I hate telling you to do something you don't like, but I mean, if you need money, you know, you're gonna have to go get it. And like I said, a lot of you, you know, um, are not necessarily starving right now. I think you're quite comfortable, you know, where you are. But I feel like the universe is trying to bring you some ducats in, but you know, you got talent is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, you need to use some of that talent that you have, all right? Yeah, I don't I don't even know. Some of you could have an argument with somebody about money too because, you know, temperance is here. And every time temperance shows up, they're trying to heal or fix something. Let me get you a couple more cards, okay? Mm -hmm. It's going on. So we got the King of Cups. <laughs> We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Like, look, I get it. You want to be free, all right? You don't really want to work for the man. Some of you with this uh, 
king of cups here a lot of you just like you know being at home okay you know catering to your family or taking care you know of your 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 home life but as far as like wanting to actually get out here and get a job Aries for some of you that's not the case I feel like you know it's not what you want but then you don't know what you want for some of you with the seven of cups because this is a card of having opportunities right there's plenty of opportunities on the seven of cups card and a cup has something different in every cup but I feel that you're just not being inspired or you just don't you know, you're just, you just don't know, like, what do I do? Do I pick this? Do I pick that? Or should I just stay here, you know? Because a lot of you are enjoying your freedom right now, not having to work, not having, you know, financial burdens, you know, on your back. I get it. Like, it's almost like, like I said, you're not, you're not poor, but you ain't rich. You know, you're not starving, but, you know, you don't have a job, you know, if you want it. I don't know. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I, 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 I don't know. Some of you could be, you know, pregnant, you know, that's a possibility uh, for some of you. Maybe that's why some of you Aries don't want to work. But I don't feel that it's all about that. I just feel like you need to make a choice and figure out what it is that you want to do. Okay, don't be envious of others if you're, not, if you're not really, you know, ready to get out there and make things work for you. Like you're smart. You know what you need to do to get money. You know that you can get money when you need money. But I think you're really just enjoying, you know, your freedom right now. That's that's just kind of how I'm, I'm seeing this. Maybe some of you need help getting the job, okay? Uh, maybe, I, I don't, you know, this is, this is a, it gets like a freaky reading, okay? But I don't care. Like, nine of pentacles. Let's see what else we have. Then we have the moon. Some of you are just flat out being stubborn. You know, a lot of you are like, again, confused about what it is that you want to do with your life. You know, a lot of you aren't following your dreams right now or you're afraid or I don't know. What, what are you afraid of? I'm sick of saying I don't know, but I just feel like I'm trashing you right now. And I don't, you know, I don't want to do that. But I don't see any way around, you know, any positivity necessarily, you know, in this reading other than this nine of pentacles and this crown card, which is a lot because it says overcome an obstacle. So if you are worried about something if you are looking for a job if you are trying to better your life and maybe every job you apply for it's just been no 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 you know and you're maybe tired of putting yourself out there and now you're just like look i hate the world right you know maybe so uh, maybe you're watching other people you know grow and you have not but i tell you like for those of you who are actually searching looking wanting a job trying to balance out your finances trying to you know take it easy to make sure you know you spend your money wisely and you have what you need and you know though for those of you who are in that energy okay i feel like it's only a matter of time you know don't fear don't have anxiety you know don't be envious of others what you need is coming through because the crown is here and it's not a pentacles is here i do feel like there's messages coming in so if you've been applying for jobs or trying to get you know your finances in a better place then it will all right it will so right now you could be in this four uh four pentacles energy like really holding on to your money but the four of pentacles also speaks of financial control you know and security six of wands i'm liking that okay that means that you know sooner or later things will get back into alignment you will be just fine look expansion confidence success you know relocation moving if you need to move and this is again this is look it says the big picture so again that's like you know looking out there to say like hey what can i do all right soon you'll be in the energy of not needing but actually giving you know and receiving areas so um there's a couple areas out there that really ain't trying to do nothing for the winter they just trying to stay home and chill and there's nothing wrong with that all right rest up particularly those of you who could be expecting i don't know why i said that i don't know i think it was the king of cups i don't know i know she's not the empress but um i just feel that here oh i think i know what i was looked over here at these eggs and i think it made me think of a baby but um yeah so i don't know it's all is well guys all right things will settle down and you'll get to settle in 
Um, and that's just pretty much it. Success, victory, you know, is here for you. There's good news with the Six of Wands coming in. Again, if you're looking for a job, you know, you're going to overcome those obstacles, okay? Just hold on to what you got. The holidays is over. Aries, there's no need for you to spend any extra money, okay? Hold on to what you got until something better uh, comes in for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.